Today, I'm going to cook an iconic South American dish, which I'm sure you all know at home, the empanada. And I'm going to be using this donkey backstrap that I harvested here in this amazing area in Atacama. So firstly, what we're going to do is we're going to saute the backstrap in the pan, put it in the dough, and then straight in the oven. So for the saute, you want to finely chop some garlic, and then you're going to finely chop some brown onion. So once you've got your uh, brown onion and your garlic chopped up, I want you to put medium heat on the pan, a bit of olive oil, and then we're going to saute it. And you don't want it to be on too much heat because then it's going to burn. You just want it to slowly simmer, let all those juices get extracted. So while that's sauteing, I want you to grab your meat. In this case, this is a wild donkey from the desert. We're going to just cube it up into nice little bite-sized chunks that are easier to fit in this empanada later. You're gonna add that into your saute mix. Just like that. And now you're gonna turn that heat up a little bit and just start mixing that through. Add a little bit of seasoning, salt and pepper. And then just keep giving that a stir through. That's starting to smell really nice right now. This particular empanada that I'm doing is actually quite a spicy one. So we've got some chili powder. We've got cumin, oregano, and this is a special local uh, smoked uh, chili. Apparently it's got some serious kick, so just give that a stir through again. Right, the next thing we're gonna add is a bit of jalapeno. Those colors look amazing. Then we're gonna add some black local olives. And the final thing is some tomato paste or tomato salsa. Just gonna add a little bit of juiciness, a bit more rich flavor, a little bit of acidity, it's gonna be great. So now that's, that's kind of three quarters cooked, turn off your heat, let it settle right down and move on to the dough. What you wanna do is get your dough with a roller and uh, just flatten it out till it's like maybe a quarter of an inch or even less than that. And you've got to allow enough room for the filling to obviously fit and then fold over. Okay, so with a plate, I'm gonna go around the edge here. That's gonna give me the shape of the empanada. Just with a knife around the edge, really easy. Just like so. It's time to actually fill this bad boy up. Look at that, that is, that is really looking delicious. So we're gonna fold this over now, just like so. Press down on the edges, and then with a fork, this old baker's trick, you just press down, and it actually seals the side of the pastry that you're working with, or the dough I should say. Okay, and then I'm just gonna run a knife across and get rid of some of this excess. Fantastic, that looks great. Now to finish these empanadas off before they go into a really hot oven, you need to get a couple of eggs to make an egg wash. Absolutely essential. Don't skip this part out because you'll get dry, cracked out empanadas. And that should give it a nice golden brown color, moisten it up and make sure it doesn't dry out in that oven. All right, so now that uh, we've done the egg wash on these empanadas, we're gonna transfer them onto a baking tray which actually has baking powder and that's gonna prevent this uh, empanada from sticking to your tray. Uh, so just be very careful with this part because they can be a little bit hard to handle, especially if they're bigger. So in goes the empanadas. Okay, close that door up. And if you've got your oven at 400 or so, it should only take about 20 to 30 minutes. So while these empanadas are cooking, I'm gonna do a little side dish in this area. It's called ensalada chilena. So it's basically just tomatoes, onion, and a bit of parsley with olive oil. Really simple, really beautiful, and that's gonna accompany this uh, empanada nicely. All right, so now that your uh, ensalada chilena is ready, let's time to check the empanadas. Oh wow, that's perfect. 
There we go. Well, there you have it, guys. Two Chilean-style empanadas made out of wild donkey.